Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Nicholas of Gaming, or most of you might call me Jordan, depends about whereabouts you are. But this is my review of the new game Halo 4. And uh, yeah, if you're thinking of getting it, I would highly recommend it. I've just got the first mission of the campaign here, which doesn't give away much. I'm just doing it on a low difficulty. I've finished the campaign already, so I just thought this was the best one. It doesn't give away too much, so you like, oh, I don't need to get the game because I already know what happens. But, yep, so at the start there's just a video, uh, just like the background really, if you haven't gotten it already. So, uh, yeah, here's the loading screen, it's very, very fast, but uh, I'll see you guys soon. It's like six minutes long. And uh, here it is, and it starts talking soon. So I have subtitles, so you can't read it. And as you can see, the graphics are pretty good. But I, I'll leave you here so you can hear what happens. Tell me about the children. Dr. Halsey. You already know everything. You kidnapped them. Children's minds are more easily accepting of indoctrination. Their bodies more adaptable to augmentation. The result was the ultimate soldier. And because of our success, when the Covenant invaded, we were ready. Dr. Halsey, you're bending history for your own favor, and you know it. You developed the Spartans to crush human rebellion, not to fight the Covenant. In one human world after another fell, when my Spartans were all that stood between humanity and extinction, nobody was concerned about why they were originally built. So you feel in the end your choices were justified. My work saved the human race. think the Spartans' lack of basic humanity helped? What are you after? The others before you were naval intelligence, but you... You're something else. Records show Spartans routinely exhibited mildly sociopathic tendencies. Difficulty with socialization and... Records show efficient behavior operating in hazardous situations. I supplied the tools to maintain that efficiency. Do you believe the Master Chief succeeded because he was, at his core, broken? What does John have to do with this? You want to replace him? The Master Chief is dead. This file reads, missing in action. Catherine. Spartans never die. Your mistake is seeing Spartans as military hardware. My Spartans are humanity's next step. Our destiny as a species. Do not underestimate them. But most of all, do not underestimate him. Alright, there's a little bit more. So, yeah, I'll just be back in a little bit.
Did you wake me? Hang on. Bring me your systems on my mind. I will be ready to stay there while you're out. You've been busy. I can bring you a subscribe to the Thank you. Keep look up. You need to pull the man here and Intrusion alert sliding up on multiple buttons. Our best bet to figure out who's boarding us is the observation deck. Four floors up. Could it be the rescue team? Alright, so this is pretty much I'm I'm just trying to describe this to someone who has not yet played the Halos. There were a bunch of guys quite a lot of time ago called the Forerunners. They were not human. We we aren't really told much about them, but uh, they created these almost Earth-like rings called Halos in space, and they were designed for weapons, and they were designed to destroy all life, and it was a very noble thing why they built them because there was an infection called there was an infection called the flood and the flood lives off anything that is living once you get like a little spore on you then you're pretty much dead you almost have zombie like features you know you get your D formed you want to kill everyone, you don't even have your own sense of thought, anything like that. So they built these halos and they created eight of them in total. And um, in Halo 1, one was destroyed, as well as Halo 2 I believe. In Halo 3, they destroyed another one. And the chief made it out with like, this is a chief now, Master Chief. He's a Spartan. He's not a robot, he's a human that has been adapted and augmentated. So, yeah, he's pretty much a human. He plays a human. He's like 8 foot tall because he's been augmented. And these were the guys that you used to verse in the first and second, or just the first Halo. They're called elites. They're aliens. They're part of the Covenant. The Covenant is a species that uses the rings to believe that the rings destroy all life besides themselves. They call it the Great Journey. And so as a human you have normal bullets like so. I'll show you guys in a sec, here we go. Normal bullets like so, whereas the Covenant and the aliens more have they're not lasers, they're just overpowered energy, kind of just formed as one, pretty much. And so, that's pretty much the story in the background. The Chief tried to make it off. The Elites are strange in Halo 4, I can just say that. We verse the Elites, but the Elites betrayed the Covenant, because they knew the correct story, what would happen if they killed, like they used the rings. So in Halo 3, Halo 2, the Elites were allies, but now we're versing them, so I don't understand that. But this is the Spartan, the Master Chief, went off the Halo ring in Halo 3, the game Halo 3, with the Arbiter, who was the leader of the Elites, the Rebellion of the Elites. And so... The Covenant was all destroyed. They used the ring 
to like minimize its power so it could only destroy itself. That's how they've been using the others. And they destroyed what they had thought of as the flood. And they destroyed all the flood. That was absolutely hilarious there. They destroyed the flood and the covenant. But here we're based on Requiem four years after Halo 3 because to split the ship that they were traveling on split in half and the Arbiter had the I think the Arbiter had the engines I believe so he made it back to earth whereas the chief didn't and so here he is now four years later and yeah pretty much the Covenant's back and we're versing the elites which is pretty strange and at the start there was just an achievement that you can do straight up it's just pretty much bringing you up to date with who the chief is but I already know so the start video the graphics are very very good I haven't seen a game with better graphics than that it is animated which actually got me surprised by at the start I thought they were real people I thought they got actors in but they hadn't so I was surprised by that but yeah it's, they're really really good graphics it's a really really good campaign and story I really recommend it and so this is the first campaign mission uh, you come you start off at Requiem Requiem is a planet built by the Forerunners it's a Forerunner planet it has a metal casing and the planets inside and the Covenant and the Forerunner, Forerunners are teamed up to, I'm not quite sure, I've only played the campaign once, I'm not quite sure what they're teamed up for, but it's pretty much just to, I don't know, I guess they're just allies really and they want to kill the Chief now because he's going to destroy Requiem. But uh, I'm not going to give away the ending just because it's pretty important and it gives away a lot but pretty much you meet a forerunner and a lot of stuff happens and you finish it off and the woman that you saw the hologram her name's Cortana she's the artificial intelligence given to the master chief she's pretty much like a computer on a disc so she's not like some crazy thing she's just a pretty much an AI so that's not really that special really but she she is special but the way she's made isn't that special we can do that kind of stuff today in modern society so in my opinion I believe it's a really really good game the heads up display what you're seeing now on the bottom left bottom right in the bottom in the middle and at the top in the middle you can actually see the chief's helmet so it's like you're looking through the, your visor which is really really good, I like that added feature. The heads up display, the shields, the grenades, the ammo, the minimap, I believe that is very similar to Halo 3. Halo Reach, which is set before Halo 1, had little health bars underneath the shields, like you have a certain amount of shields and then like pretty much one shot and you're dead after that. And so the health bars kind of just told you how much health you had once your shields were gone, but it, they uh, 343 Industries have not integrated that into Halo 4 which is quite sad because really I don't know how long I can survive for before I have to duck back and regain shields but uh, Bungie used to be the creators of Halo and now the contract be between Microsoft and Bungie has ended so instead 343 Industries which is owned and made by Microsoft is pretty much just the new people now so yeah that's that's quite a lot different actually because they've integrated a lot of stuff that Bungie used to have and it's actually rather sad as well because Bungie was in it for well some say 10 years the actual truth is that around about 20 because Halo's been here since like the 90s on computers so that that's a pretty nice little fact there so I'm trying to just use as many guns as possible, like so, just trying to show you what they look like and what they do. 
but the graphics on this game are very very good as you can see um, like I can't believe how good the animation is it's just absolutely awesome you know I love it here yeah, I'm really really impatient <laughs> I'm like quick 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 get it over with get it over with and so there we are that that's Requiem it's a pretty big planet I reckon it's bigger than Earth maybe maybe not and uh, you can just see all the Covenant ships the drop ships and stuff I think I get that covered soon I'll kind of show you what's happening there's low gravity here and I think I die yeah I think I'm gonna die right about now and I'm just like floating here <laughs> there I am just floating in the air while I get sniped so uh, this time I'm just trying to think to myself quick get it over and done with it's a huge video but um if I was to rate Halo 4 I would say if you're going to get one game this year I would say it's definitely a competitor for it I would recommend getting it um, yeah I, I would definitely say if you're to get two or one games this year I would definitely get it if you're to get three I'll probably recommend something like Borderlands 2, Call of Duty and Halo if you, did, if you were to get two, or like Halo and maybe Borderlands or Call of Duty, either one, whatever you prefer. Like, it's not that hard to follow the story. Would I recommend like follow? Um, would I recommend playing the other Halos? Yes, I would. If you were to play Halo One, play the combat, the what is it, the anniversary one. Combat Evolved Anniversary, it's just been remastered, so it's a lot better graphics as the 10 year anniversary of the release of Halo 1, so I would definitely re recommend that instead. And uh, you're probably wondering how I got onto Halo, it's because when I was 4 I started playing Halo 1, and so I just really really enjoyed it, it was a really fun game. And then they brought Skulls in, which are like special bonuses and funny easter eggs and stuff like if you headshot grunts which are the uh, little fat guys if you headshot them they explode into confetti and go yay which is uh, pretty cool it's a pretty nice added feature I, I quite enjoy that it kind of makes the game enjoyable and that's why I like Halo it's a really really good game to play it's really enjoyable. I can play Halo non-stop really. I can't get over it. Like I can get bored of some games in an hour, two, three, four, even five hours maybe. But Halo, I somehow can't get over it. Like it's just a really, really good game. I can play any Halo and enjoy it. The multiplayer, the multiplayer is very, very good. I have a couple of games coming up soon if you wanna check out those I have two multiplayer games it's very very good if you can get good quite easily as well I don't find that it's hard to level up it's fairly easy and simple uh, multiplayer looks really really fun I highly enjoy it uh, the addition of ordnance weapons on a certain kill streak that you're on is very very good addition I like that and uh, what else is there? Halo Reach had a lot of game types, a lot more than uh, Halo 4 has now. And so I'm I'm sad about that. I liked all of the game types of Halo Reach because that's what made it enjoyable. If I got bored of a game, I could just move on to another one. I unfortunately I die here, which is quite sad. I think I believe I die. Maybe I don't. Oh, and another thing too. Assassinations. When you hit a enemy from behind, you can do an assassination, which is pretty cool. It was introduced in Halo Reach. Yeah, here I am. I die here. It was introduced in Halo Reach, and there were there were hundreds of different assassinations you could do, depending on how high up you were, like if you jumped or not, depending if the enemy was above you or below you, depending what type of enemy depending if you're in multiplayer or in campaign it was really really cool 
Here I just thought, nah, stuff it, I'll just shoot these guys again. And so, um, yeah, I would definitely recommend getting this game. It's well in... See, there we are, there's an assassination. You pretty much just use your knife for all of it. Yeah, here we go, here's the end of it now. So, uh, you'll just see the end of it, and I believe there's a video, there's only 30 seconds left. Yep. So, uh, if you're thinking of getting it, I would recommend so. You can add me on Xbox Live as... Uh, you'll probably see it quite a lot, you would have seen it at the start. Or if you haven't, then just watch other videos. You can add me on Xbox Live, and I can just you can just play a couple of games with me. There we go, Halo 4. So um, I would definitely recommend getting it, and uh, take it easy, guys. Thanks.